Is this the lull before the storm? The British government says it's looking at ways of responding to what it believes is an outrageous act by Russia. So this is part of a pattern of behavior by Vladimir Putin and his regime. And you're seeing this reckless support for the use of chemical weapons all the way from uh, Syria uh, to the streets of, of, of Wiltshire in our, in our country. And uh, I've been encouraged by the determination of our friends to, to stand with us. Except that friends aren't so predictable these days. The American president, shortly after sacking a secretary of state who was highly regarded by the British government, says it sounds to him as if Russia was involved in the nerve agent attack. But in Moscow, the Russian foreign minister said Britain was being obstructive, refusing to give Russia samples of the nerve agent so that it could carry out its own investigation. Russia is not guilty, but Russia is ready to cooperate in the framework of the Chemical Weapons Convention, only if the United Kingdom takes pains to fulfill their legal obligations according to the same document. London's luxury properties, luxury shops. Could Britain target Russians who spend money here? An anti-corruption group estimates more than a billion dollars of suspicious Russian wealth is invested in UK property. Well, it's certainly the case that some of the individuals that uh, we've identified in this research are well known to the Kremlin. So if, if they were to find themselves subjected to police investigations by unexplained wealth orders, for example, then that would send a very clear message to the Kremlin that corrupt individuals uh, and their illicit cash are no longer welcome here. British politicians want to send a message to Russia that they won't tolerate what they see as a brazen attack on British soil. But they also hope to cooperate with Russia on issues like containing Iran and North Korea's nuclear ambitions. In other words, Russia's international significance presents Britain with a diplomatic dilemma. Britain says it's ready to act. But if this crisis escalates, Western unity could come under great strain.